What's good, Pixel here, and today I want to talk to you guys about virtual reality. Now, this video might be a little bit long because there's a lot I want to talk about. But before I make this video, I want you guys to know to go ahead and follow me on Twitch. I'm pretty much going to be streaming every single day starting today. If I don't, then I technically have to put $5 in me and Maya's Xbox account every time I don't stream. So if I can help it, I'm going to stream. Even if I stream for an hour, technically I kept my end of the deal. But uh, I will be streaming every single day. Mainly, I'm going to be streaming like... In the morning and probably after nine o'clock eastern standard time so probably like 9 45 or something like that i'll be streaming so probably like two times a day i'll be streaming uh, if you do miss it then i'll probably just if it's rp or something like that i'll probably you know cut it up and make a video out of it later but um that's pretty much what i decided to do but let's get inside this video so i've recently bought the mix vr and i'm thinking about getting a vibe next month and I know a lot of people will be like, well, Pixels is pretty much the same thing. I mean, honestly, yes, it is the same thing, but Vibe is actually making a bunch of accessories and it's more open source than the Oculus Rift. So I feel like that's probably the best decision to get it just because like the more the Oculus Rift is more like a sit down one. Like you can stand up and you have like some room scaling, but it doesn't really have everything that I want. And I feel like the Vibe it's going to last longer when they come up with that wireless headset it's going to be better and i tried the vibe i haven't tried the oculus yet the only thing about the oculus that i do like is the controls right now i said like i said the vibe the vibe is making their own new controls which i do like a lot um, but as of right now oculus in my opinion do have the best controls because even with the mix vr it's kind of modeled behind the vibe and it's a little bit too big but um yeah the oculus controllers in my opinion is technically better right now um but I want to talk about virtual reality because I want to explain to you guys why I love it so much and I think why and why you guys should honestly, honestly look into it. I mean, if you guys, let's let's start out with my favorite anime, Sword Art Online. I talk about this show a lot and it's not that it's because it's good. I know a lot of people hate it and a lot of people love it, but it's not that it's good or bad. It's just like that anime got to me. Like I, I saw what it could be in the future and I knew it instantly they like, we're gonna we're gonna get there like we're easily gonna get to the whole full dive this is just the first step where they just getting us the headsets you know we got the controls and stuff like that um i did a little research which i'm gonna try to put videos up in this in this video because like i said it's gonna be really really long but they're already working on a hand you can feel like if it rains in the game and it touch your hand it's you're gonna feel that rain if you pick up a rock you're not gonna be able to close your hand because glove is going to make you feel like you're actually holding the glove. And that's what I'm saying, like, even though a lot of people hate Sora Online and say, oh, we're never going to get there, we're getting there. Like, we're easily getting there. I mean, in my personal opinion, I feel like you should better lay out on the bed and, um, and just feel immersed. Like, you shouldn't, like, I don't want to say turn off your brain, but, like, you're using your brain to actually see everything. Like, it's kind of like you're going to a dream, but it's not actually there. Now, I would love to test it out. I'll, I'm willing with I'll, if something actually was like that I'll, I will be willing to sign up for it like that's how much I believe in VR that's how much I would believe in the whole full dive thing like if it came opportunity where I can actually do that I would honestly do that and like I said I've been doing a lot of research I know I think one company is doing I'm pretty sure Mars will come in a little but one company has got it where they actually use this guy to see if he can control a rat's tail with his brain he did it so like I said that technology is there they're just working on it to get it a lot better um but you guys notice lately I've been playing virtual playing VR chat and um you guys can see on the screen right now which I tried to make a video of it but the footage was kind of messed up um I kind of got my headset to work with oculus games so i'm able to play that on my headset too um yeah but yeah looking at the possibilities and what we can look forward to it's going to be pretty cool now i feel like it's going to take a long time probably i want to say six years before it's actually affordable for everyone to actually get it like me right now i'm investing a lot of money into it i'm risking everything on virtual reality because i honestly feel like we need it and if you guys don't like virtual reality or you don't believe in it you kind of should just stop playing games because if if you're young then yeah i can understand you know you're used to the whole ps4 the xbox one generation the 360 and all that um but as you know i'm gonna say the ps4 and the xbox one generation i can understand you guys not really believing in virtual reality but someone that's like me that's 26 who grew up with the playstation 1 um grew up with the playstation 2 the playstation 3 and the playstation 4 we saw 
gaming evolve and i feel like if you want gaming to stop here then you don't need to be gaming because gaming should always evolve like even when we get the virtual reality the next step should be full dive and after that it just should be for whatever comes next you should always support technology you should always support it and go forward and not stay still um, that's the same thing with the iphone like a lot of people don't like the iphone because they feel like it's the same thing every single year but I usually try to use the iPhone. I try to use the iPhone every single year because I like to see technology move. Even if it's just a little step, I like to see it move. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I fully um, support virtual reality. And I think it needs to be here. I think it needs to be supported. And a lot of you guys should, should really do some research. Like, honestly, do some research like I did. You'll find out a lot. And it's, it's not that many YouTubers out there that's doing virtual reality. You have like two or three that I can pretty much put in the comments below that I can honestly think of. So it's not that many people talking about it and it should be a lot more people talking about it. Um, you don't really, um, I, I looked at, um, I even, like, I wanna explain to you guys this. Like my dad was, was like, virtual reality is trash. He did not believe in it. He thought it was dangerous. He did not want anything to do with virtual reality. And even when he tried on the mixed VR, he liked it. So once you try it, you will understand what I'm talking about. Like. You can't just have me tell you what virtual reality is about. You can't do that. Like, you, I can't be like, oh, dude, virtual reality is amazing. You will never, ever, ever experience that until you actually try it. Even if you go as far as using the phone as a virtual reality headset, yes, it's technically the same thing, but it's more like 360 video more than virtual reality because you don't have those controls. Like, the moment in virtual, like, let me use VR chat for example. Now, VR chat, a lot of you guys don't like it because all you're doing is talking, interacting with people, whatever. But the moment you actually pick something up in game or, you know, high five somebody, that's, you'll, like I said, you'll understand the, the connections you have with someone. Now, like I said, with the whole hand thing, they're working on that. So imagine if you have a glove and someone else has a glove or if they can find a way to do this regardless. Let's say I put my hand up and touch somebody in VR chat. If I can feel their hand, like feel their hand, like think about it, just feel their hand, that would be so amazing. Now, the last couple days, I'll have rewatched the This is like my 10th time watching it, I wanna say. And I started to, he started to actually say some stuff, which I'm gonna try to put in this video if I can go in and find it. Try not to get copyrights, so I'm just gonna probably put the audio. But he said some things in, you know, the Gun Gale Online one, and he said something in the very first one. And even though it's a virtual world, I feel more alive in here than I ever did in the real one. First one he was saying he felt more alive in virtual reality than he did in the outside world. And I'm kind of like that. Like, I like to stay in the house. I'm not going to lie. I don't like to interact with people. I don't like to talk to people. You know, if I go out to work, like, that's the most thing I'll probably interact with people is probably going to work and going back home. Like, that's it. I don't like going out as much. And I know people are going to say, oh, well, you're not as social as you need to be, but... You know, like I said, most of my friends that I trust is either online or I know them for years. Like Maya, Sean, JB, you know what I mean? Those are the and are the three people that I know personally that, you know, I can trust, talk to on a daily basis, and they won't bullshit me. So other than them, like, my online friends are my best friends. But uh, with VR chat, it's like I'm making so many friends every single day that it just keep bringing me in. Like, I have to go in and talk to those friends. And it feels like they're there. Like, that's the thing. Like, with the VR headset, you can play VR chat without a headset, but you will never experience it. Like, you feel like they're there if they have a headset on. Like, the moment you come in contact with somebody with the headset and the controls in their hands, they feel like they're there. <laughs> and can you imagine what it would be like if we could reproduce the feel of skin and a pulse? Would we be able to tell the difference between a real hand and an avatar's hand? But hopefully, someone will come along and make a technological breakthrough. It's pretty much saying that, you know, like, even though we can see them, we can't, like, certain people, like, when you're around people, you you know, you have, they have their scent, they have they feel, like, the moment we get to the place we can touch, smell, and taste, that is pretty much it. Like, that is that is when you're really inside the game. Like, you need those three things. I'm pretty sure, and like I said, I'm tired of putting in here if I can find it, but a lot of companies are working on that. And you can actually feel, you can actually smell, you can actually taste what's in the game. And the moment that, in the moment that is there, bro, I swear to God to you, like, like, I can honestly tell you guys, I know this sounds crazy as hell, but the moment we have full dive, 
if we can find a way to put if i can find a way and i know it's gonna sound good, like i said i know it's gonna sound crazy find a way to put my body in there and actually you know stay there and still live i would honestly rather live in the virtual world than the real one and, and I, like i said i know that sounds crazy as hell but it's true like i don't like this world <laughs> like honestly i don't like this world at all like and not to the point where i would actually kill myself but like i do not like this world i like the virtual world i like the fact that you know it's endless possibility things i can't do in the real world i can do in this world uh when you look at rp like imagine if vr rp pops the fuck off right it is going to be so amazing to go in gta online rp and rp with that controls rp with your body you know what i mean like that will be pretty fucking cool like you guys gotta really look at the possibilities of virtual reality and the whole full dive thing um like it's it's the next level of gaming and i wouldn't even i'll put it past well it's the next level of gaming and i really really think it's going to be big um i'm gonna try my best to get um i'm gonna try my best to show as much people that i know in my real life virtual reality because like i said honestly i would honestly stop playing because right now i feel like the only thing holding vr back is the price i will get playstation credit they are smart as fuck microsoft is a little 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 slow on this i know they're partnering with oculus but i feel like they could just make their own headset sony and microsoft it's probably the only one, in my opinion, right now, that can get VR in the consumer hands. The Vive is too expensive. The Oculus is about the position of VR, so it's not that bad. But the Vive is, like, really for people who are really invested in this. Um, but I feel like, consumer-wise, um, Sony and Microsoft could have had this in the console space, and a lot of people would have picked it up. Um, I know, I think, I know, I don't know the sales of PlayStation VR, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty high. They have no competition when it comes to console and VR. So, I do give Sony props. They make amazing hardware, so I know if I got one, it's going to last forever. And I feel like Sony is actually, you know, making sure we move forward instead of staying still. And I just feel like Microsoft was more of a coward to just jump on the Oculus Rift bandwagon and go do that. And then they sat there and made their own mixed VR headset. So what was the point? Like, if you can use mixed VR on the Xbox One, then I probably wouldn't be complaining. But at the same time, you can't right now. Like, Microsoft is more focused on backward compatibility and all that, which... Yeah, I feel like Microsoft and Sony should have came out that headset at the same time. It would have been a lot of competition. You would have had Xbox versus PlayStation, and people would have bought the fuck out of it. But when you have it on one platform, I mean, Sony could have did this, but that would have been ridiculous. Imagine if Sony would have just gave out a headset for every PlayStation user. Or what if the PS5 comes out? Pretty sure Sony's going to make the VR headset work on the PS5. But imagine if they included a headset in every every playstation 5 now that will fucking blow up if they give it out for free and don't even i mean i doubt it but if they did it would really move it would really move vr so so right now i feel like virtual reality need a little help um you can tell in the games on steam like the people who mention the people who are making virtual reality games i give credit to you like i honestly give credit to you um just because like there's not a huge selection on steam yes they're probably like you know 100 and something but it's not as much as it should be you know I me mean? and the experiences right there is you can tell that a lot of developers making games with vr on the pc is actually still learning because um you know it's not as long as the experience that i would like you guys are definitely gonna be seeing this channel moving towards virtual reality we're still gonna do you know arc and you know pc and consoles and stuff like that but i definitely want to virtuality to this channel like even if you guys don't care that much at least hear me out or at least see what the game is before you just don't watch the video like i said i know a lot of you guys do not like vr chat no it's like certain i want to say about 25 people if you want to think about it on my channel that actually likes vr chat or likes virtuality i'm pretty sure um but i feel like like i said if you guys give it a chance and see that it is the future of gaming you know, I feel like a lot of you guys will leech on to that and actually try your best to get a virtual reality headset. Like I said, like I said, I know it's expensive. And like I said, I know it sucks that Microsoft does not have a virtual reality headset right now that works on the Xbox because they have to kind of deal with the original Xbox and on top of that, the X. So um, hopefully Microsoft get it together and just say, fuck Oculus, go do your own thing. Make it for the Xbox, make the VRX or XVR or something like that. Like just, make it like that and everyone will buy it 
But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment below what you guys think. And like I said, I'm probably do some more research on virtual reality. And if I if I find anything new, I'll probably make a video on it and let you guys know. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And like I said, follow me on Twitch because I'm gonna be streaming every single day on Twitch and uploading videos every single day. So uh, you guys know I'm probably gonna be dead by the end of this fucking next month or whatever. I'm gonna try to do my best to get videos out and still stream. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys later. Peace.